All right, what's up guys? So I was just taking out the the first JB4. Had it sitting right here. Realized that thing gets way too hot. X3 looking sexy as ever. My garage is a mess, so don't judge me. Okay, seize. I need to take her out again. But, so this is the first JB4. You literally can't screw up the install. Like, these two plugs go to one thing, and these go to another. You literally just unplug it from the original sensor. You unplug it, and then plug this one into the male, this into the female. Like, it's pretty hard to mess that up. So, the guy told me that he thinks that it's a wiring issue in this thing. Um, so... Instead of arguing with them and like trying to get another one sent my way, which I'm going to do, but um, I went ahead and ordered another one, just this unit. Um, and then I have the wireless connection um, deal right here. I'm gonna have to take out. But uh, yeah, so I have the wireless deal that goes to your phone. I'm gonna just take this and put it on the next one. And just I'll just sell the JB4. Um, I don't know if it's, there's something wrong with it or if the new one does the same thing. Then I'm there's something wrong going on. But if the if the new one works, then this one's definitely defective, and I'll have to just return that for my money. Got the little minion coming out here. So anyway, I was taking this off. I'm not quite done yet, but <clears throat> I just got to pull it through the firewall. I was looking at this, and this is the blow-off valve. It's the factory blow off valve right here. So, yeah, come here, I'll open it. So, what I'm thinking is, is I can take this off. This is the release right here, so, and this is the return back into the air box. Daddy, open this. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. So, this is the return back into the air box here. So, I'm going to take this off. I actually have a. Uh, I say I bought a two pack of these whenever I did the Explorers blow off valve and that one was way harder to get in here. This one, I already cut it, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So this is the, I have to get some pliers to take this piece off here. But this is the blow off valve. So I've seen like on install videos, you just take this off and this is where you'd put that little blow off adapter. It's like 85 bucks, but that's what makes the loud, right? Well, I bought two of these for like $3 or something. It's like literally like maybe two bucks for this. <laughs> I'm thinking if it'll work, I'm gonna take this off. Let me see. Oh wow, this wasn't even. It's not really much of that in. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. So this doesn't even have to have that much behind it, it actually works. So I blocked that off and then now it should just blow it out of there. So I'm going to take this off real quick. I'm going to need two hands. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then it should just release it from there. We'll do a quick little drive through real quick. Okay. So I just took this little hose off here. This little clamp is a little stiff, but not too bad. Just pinch that off, pull the hose and there you go. So that is the uh, blow off valve. And it usually would return into your airbox, right? So it's just recirculated. You don't need that air. It doesn't cost any performance or do anything like that. It's just a recirc so that the extra boost has somewhere to go. Whenever you're through and you don't want any more, you know, the boost stops. And instead of over boosting, it'll just release out of this back into the thing. So now you'll hear it tsh, like a blow off valve. If you've seen my videos on the Explorer, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But we'll go do a little drive around here. Simple as that. And I'll just keep this. If I want to put it back to stock, I can just... Daddy it's literally probably like less than a five minute thing. If you already have this piece, less than five minutes, you can get this off. All right, so we're back in the Bronco. Let's trying to let it cool down a little bit. It is 106 degrees outside. It's probably like 104. But that is still extremely hot. So, not going to be beating on it or anything, but I just wanted to hear it uh and hopefully it works no check engine lights or anything so i think it's fine 
I'm gonna turn the AC down here in a sec so that we can actually hear it, but it's way too hot to uh, try and go without no AC right now. I'm gonna make a video on, on a, you know, like one of those five things I hate about my Bronco thing. There's a few things. I don't absolutely hate anything besides the soft top. And it's not even that bad. I just, I hate it, so. I go and see, turn this AC down and see if I can kind of see the, uh, the boost gauge there at the top right. Oh yeah, so you can definitely hear it. If you lug it down, obviously I'm not gonna kind of I'm not gonna beat on it right now, but you can uh, just start the vehicle and you can just hear the fans running. That's how hot it is outside. Um, I'm gonna try to lug it in manual a little bit so I can get the blow off valve noise. Sorry if y'all have to hear that. It's way too hot. So I'm gonna try to lug it into, okay. I like it. You know, the dump is a little obnoxious, but it kind of fits the vehicle. doesn't sound bad the downshifts aren't amazing but you know for a 27 you can't really expect much but it doesn't sound bad it sounds a little bit a lot, a lot throatier than the stock yeah that blowout valve's pretty sick I like that I liked it on the Explorer too so I knew it'd be fine I just didn't uh has a little blow off on the blow off valve too whenever you downshift so definitely a good mod um so i got the uh like i said i ordered the new jb4 i ordered that today it says one to three day shipping the first time it took three days so maybe wednesday i'm hoping if not wednesday for sure thursday and then i'm gonna throw that on and hopefully it actually works um this thing's pretty fun to rip around on but that jb4 uh, I don't know why anybody wouldn't do it. Um, maybe it is actually 106 because it just went up to 107. Um, maybe, uh, you know, maybe if this one works, I don't know why anybody wouldn't do the JB4. It doesn't leave a footprint on your ECU and you still get the same gains as like right now as some of these box tunes that have to have a flash. So like I know Whipple has a kit that you like tune it, but it flashes your ECU so they'll see that. And then the gains are only like 70 horsepower or something, which is great. It's like 70 horsepower and like uh, almost 100 foot pounds of torque. So that's awesome. But the, with the JB4, you can do an E30 mix on that tune. I think it's like Matt 4, maybe Matt 5. And it's like almost 100 horse and over 100 foot pounds of torque. So, and it doesn't leave a footprint. So yeah, it's a little bit hotter of a tune because you're running a E85 mix uh, tune, but it's still, you know, if it's not leaving a footprint and all it's basically doing is just barely increasing your boost. So it's not gonna hurt anything. It's cheap. I mean, I just bought another unit since I already had the Bluetooth adapter up there. Um, I bought just the unit and it was like 530 bucks. So I expedited the shipping to three day or one to three day and it was like $580 or something for a whole new setup. So 
once I get that, we'll throw it on there. I have a draggy that I ordered with the first GB4, so I'm literally gonna be able to do some before and afters and real world stuff whenever it's hot as shit out here in Texas in the summer. So it's definitely gonna be slower than what it should be, but you still get an idea how much power it adds. Cause this thing doesn't have to be fast. Like if, and it's not fast, it's, it's quick to like 40 and that's it. Um, and it just basically, it just feels really torquey. So that's awesome, but that's what I'm more excited for is adding another roughly 100 foot pounds of torque, which would be awesome. And then if it adds another 50 to 100 horsepower, um, that would be cool because this thing really falls on its face up top. You kind of have to short shift it to kind of feel like it still has some, some oomph to it. So um, right about 4,500 RPMs, it just starts to fall on its face. And that's where the JB4, like if you look at the graph, you know, the stock one's like this, right? And it kind of falls down. Let's do a better going. It kind of goes like this and starts falling down. The JB4 does the same thing, but it just carries it a little bit farther. So, um, and I want to say it's like four or five more pounds of boost. So that's always cool. Um, just kind of give the Bronco a little bit more uh, sauce to it, but I'm still loving this thing. I think it's awesome. Um, for how light it is, I bet you you could take the doors and the top off of this thing and probably get some decent zero to 60 times. Uh, it's on 35s. This thing's not supposed to be a speed demon, but you know, you get the idea. The more, the, the faster it is, even if you don't have to use it, the better. So we'll do a little update. Um, I am putting a ton of miles on the Bronco. It's almost at 700 already in less than a week. So I am working on the JB4 install and then then we'll be, uh... sorry, I thought I, I thought I heard something. Then we'll be, um, you know, making a little bit more power. This thing will be a little bit more enjoyable to drive. I'm already in love with it, but you know, a little extra power doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs>